Bible. <laughs> Adam and Eve. In the beginning, God created a great big universe with tons of shining stars, a bright burning sun, and do you remember what else? Yep, planets. Right. Then he took a planet and filled it with so many special things. Earth. That's where we live. Right again. And on the Earth, he made two very special creatures. Oh, oh, I know. Um, a whale and a dinosaur. No, those aren't the creatures I'm talking about. Keep guessing. A platypus and sloth? A dog and a cat? A lizard and a blobfish? Oh, I give up. A man and a woman. I knew it. Well, actually I didn't, but now I do. <laughs> God named the man Adam. And the woman he named Eve. Now, the earth was a pretty wild place. So, God planted a garden for Adam and Eve to live in. Wow, how cool is that? God called the garden Eden. And inside the garden, Adam and Eve had everything they needed. And best of all, we are friends with God. But friendship only works if there is something very important, trust. If Adam and Eve wanted to continue to be God's friends, they needed to trust him. They needed to listen to God. Trusting God should be easy since he loves us so much and he knows everything. And it was easy for a while. Just a while? You see, there was this one tree. I thought there were lots of trees in the garden. Oh, there were. But there was this one particular tree in the garden that was different. God said, don't eat from that tree. So they had a gazillion trees with all the fruit they could want. And just one they couldn't touch? Yep. Just that one? Uh-huh. <laughs> Easy peasy. It should have been. And Adam and Eve were just fine doing as God had told them, up until a new voice showed up in the garden. A new voice? Who was it? It was the voice of the enemy of God and it was coming from a sneaky, tricky snake that said, Are you sure, God said, you can't eat the fruit from that tree? Oh, we're, we're sure. sure. God said that if we eat that fruit, we will die. And then the snake did something that no one had <laughs> ever done before in God's beautiful world. The snake lied. <laughs> you will surely not die. Huh? No. If you eat of that tree, you'll become wise and smart like God. That doesn't sound right. So for sure they stopped listening to the sneaky snake and walked away, right? <sighs> no. What? No way! They thought about what the snake said. It would be great to be as wise as God. Then we'd know everything too. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What did they do? Adam and Eve decided to trust the snake and go their own way. They did what God told them not to do. They ate the fruit. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! At that moment, sin entered God's wonderful world. You see, sin is when we ignore God and choose our own way, just like Adam and Eve did. That sneaky snake! He lied to Adam and Eve, and they listened to him instead of God? This is a terrible story. Hmm. Yes, that snake was terribly <laughs> sneaky. And since Adam and Eve sinned, they had to leave the garden. But don't worry, the story's not over yet. It isn't? What happened next? God had a plan. 
He loved his creation, and he wasn't going to let some sneaky old snake spoil it. What that sneaky snake didn't know was that God was going to do something very special to save the world from sin and make things right again. I knew God wouldn't let that snake ruin everything. 